Hello and welcome once again to How Time Flies, the monthly video newsletter from the High Plains Western Heritage Center here in Spearfish, South Dakota. I'm Brian Leslie along with the Executive Director of the Center here, Carlos Govell. Carla, Hi, good Brian. to see you. Good yep. to see you. Hard to believe we're kind of heading out of summer yes. and into September, but I think it's going to get even busier for you. It is. We turn up the heat big time in September. They call it the shoulder season in the tourism world. So we'll have a lot of buses, some more cowboy supper shows, and a few other events we want to be sure to sure. talk about. Sure. And as we have all summer, we had a lot of folks come through in the month mm -hmm. of August. Of course, mm -hmm. we wrapped up the cowboy supper show. We talked about that last uh, newsletter. But uh, we also had the Potter family came in, or mm -hmm. at least Dorian and Stacy with their gospel show. That went well. We did. That was great. With Katie, Greg, and Chet Murray. Boy. Oh, yeah. It was a super, uh, well, another well-attended gospel concert, and they are just amazing no matter what they do, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. And the High Plains was the host venue for a couple of organizations that came in, including the Black Hills Regional Multi-Use Coalition, yes. talking about wolves in yes. South Dakota. And then we also had um, the uh, Lawrence County GOP hosting a little seminar on meth and heroin use in uh, the uh, the, the county in this area. Really in the area. Yes, Brian Sweats came in. We didn't get to see his dog, but um, he gave a, a, very, a very sobering, I guess, account of how um, meth and heroin use exploded in this area. Yeah. And it, it really was disappointing. We had, a, we had a crowd of 26, but I would have loved to see our theater packed because yeah. your community needs to know. An important issue. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing to, to mention too right now is because the High Plains is a perfect venue for organizations to come in and mm -hmm. use the theater to host their events, even for like family reunions or banquets yes. or many, many uses. And in fact, this month in September, you'll be hosting the Lawrence County GOP once again yes. with a program on the U.S. Constitution. Correct, on September 17th. That's open to the public as well, 6.30 p.m. that evening. It's another Tuesday. And then we're also hosting the South Dakota Library Association, Library Network. Um, they're having a conference here at the Holiday Inn and they're gonna be coming over here, about 150 of them, to have Sweet. a delicious dinner and some social time. Looking forward to that. You bet. Something I'm excited about coming up once again for the third season. We're kicking off High Plains Live on Sunday afternoon, the 22nd of September at two o'clock with Brett Morris and the Western Acoustics. And they're gonna be a fun group and I invite you to go online and get your tickets for that. Yes, and reserve seating is available for that if they call ahead as well so yeah. it's hard to believe it that we're kicking off high plains live it's for gonna the be a great year yeah. 2020 <laughs> season one thing that will be here before we know it also is a very very important event every year for the high plains and that's the annual friend raiser talk about that a little bit yes you know gary mule deer this week gary mule deer will be performing at the Grand Old Opry five times in one week this next week. Oh, I know, and I, I had a brief conversation with his wife, Nita, about just how rare of an opportunity that is. And here's Gary right in our own community, so we need to congratulate him when we see him, but we're excited to have him. Saturday night, October 26th, we're gonna be excited to host Gary Mule Deer again. He hasn't been here in about three years. It will kick it off at 5.30 that evening with Cheyenne Crossing and a nice social hour with him and concert at seven o'clock to have Gary, our beloved Gary, back. So the funds from that concert, we hope to earmark this time for some improvements in our theater. We've applied for some grants for improving our lighting, our sound, our video, and become state-of-the-art so we can get rid of a few wires and a desk <laughs> and a few other things in there that are tripping hazards and just in the way all the time. It's going to be like a regular cinema, yes. right? You're going to have movies and it'll be fun. It's, you know, and it's not the first time Gary has fundraised for us for the theater improvements. It's because of him that we have the current projector we have and the Bose speaker, yep. you know, and of course the theater is named for his father, Bruce Miller. It is. So he's always delighted to do something that helps us improve our theater. Who's your little friend there, Brian? <laughs> Buddy, Buddy Buffalo. <laughs> Buddy, yeah, the Buddy the Buffalo. That's right. Yeah. And so why do you have him there with us today? I don't know. You'll have to remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Roundup is coming up this That's month, actually, <laughs> later in the month. And we're going to have uh, some buses coming in, I think. Usually, we right. usually do. Actually, we wanted that just to remind us that we are going to be welcoming a number of buses from the Institute for Educational Travel. They they actually double or triple their number of buses here, and we do, a, you know, of course, the dinner show and the luncheon for them here. But they come for the Buffalo Roundup. People from all over the world we expect to greet here during the season of the Buffalo Roundup. Awesome. All right. <laughs> well, hope to see you out here at the High Plains in the month of September. If not, we'll see you next time for Hot Time Flies. <laughs>